What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're taking a look at a bunch of crazy cool stuff that subscribers sent in all of you. This is stuff that folks sent me uh, as a way to thank me for my videos, what I do, you know, responding back, trying to help. It blows me away, and it's a crazy, humbling experience that people offer to send this stuff and say, you know, thank you, how much my videos mean. Absolutely amazing. And some of this stuff you can't find in stores. Some of it you can only find from these small bait makers. So uh, I will, of course, link all of them down below, considering going to check them out and support them. But uh, enough yapping. Let's take a look. All right. First up, I got a couple packages from Tail Chaser Baits. Now, the first thing I noticed was this little pack because... Uh, a sexy shad or a sexy chartreuse shad, let me grab one, happens to be one of my favorite color lures. And look at this. Now, I've done just a little bit of hand pouring thanks to Mr. Marling uh, and Nick Rundle over at the Bait Cave. Those guys are masters. Go check them out. But look at this. Look at how straight those lines are for the pores. That's hard to do. I'm no expert, and I know, you know, just doing it a few times, how much practice this really takes. It's crazy. So you can see the colors there. Look at those highlights, kind of that highlight iridescent swirl going into the chartreuse like a clear with silver flaky belly. Awesome. Sent me a couple sizes of those, uh, a big one and a small one. And the next Mr. Chail Chaser Bait sent me a whole mix of stuff. I went through and looked at all these and I'm blown away by the, the creativity that people have. Now, I don't know if he knew specifically, but Junebug or Purple is one of my favorites. This is a big old, I don't know how big that worm is. Nine inch, 10 inch worm, um, good thick body. This was one of my absolute favorites from the bag. Look at that thing, throwing this on uh, some dirty water this summer, big worms kill. The next thing that jumped out at me was some of these lizards. People, I feel like don't throw lizards. Uh, you know, maybe in the South Texas and stuff. It used to be something that I threw a ton growing up. Um, this is a beautiful one here that I think I'm gonna throw on some beds, but specifically this one, because I used to throw these when I was little. Uh, Philip Cheek just shared a post where he was talking about um, one of his old PBs was caught on uh, a soft plastic that he had rigged on. I always call it the poor man's uh, Carolina rig. Just a Texas rig weight, like you would normally Texas rig something, pegged up the line about a foot or two um, with a couple peg stops and then a weightless hook back here. I used to throw this on like a split shot, little tiny lizards like this with a split shot, you know, a foot or so up the line and throw it out, essentially a mo mojo rig. Uh, but those are beautiful. Ton of other really cool plastics in here. He's got some straight tail worms, trick tail worms, some cool grubs, tubes, all kinds of really neat stuff in there. And of course, you can't not mention the old ploppy, kicky foot frog that's in pink. Woo! Okay, sticking with the soft plastics, we've got some items from Made Tackle uh, or Empire Lure Works. The first one here, uh, this color is called Made Shad. And I really like this one because I've got, you know, the do-it mold. It's like the ripper, three and a half inch or whatever ripper. Um, so it's kind of your Kytec, you know, your rib style swim bait. But how cool is this? I've never seen this in like one that you can inject. It's got the hook slot up at the top. So after you rig this, like say an EWG belly weighted hook, your hook will lay in there without having to skin hook it uh, and it's uh, weedless. Those are pretty cool. I like the color too, kind of a grayish shad. He also sent some more of those ringer swim baits over in the made money color. I like that one, like a green pumpkin with blue silver flake in there. Interesting uh, and very easy to, uh, to mimic bluegill with that one. I like it. Some really neat trick worms. This is the made, did you say made? Yeah, the margarita uh, color. And I really like this. This is like a mix between morning dawn and almost when you look at the top, like a tequila sunrise mix. Uh, really neat color, really cool uh, that he've sent all these and this one. Now, also, I can't use all of these that people send me. So some of these I will keep in fish from these companies. I'm gonna put like a little care package and do a giveaway. So all you have to do is comment below while you're watching this. Um, let me know which baits you really liked, but I'll put a few of these together and send a care package out. This one though, super neat. Never seen anything like this. The Battle Bug Pump Melon Purple. <laughs> Guessing you know some of the colors I like. This is like a green pumpkin slash watermelon green with purple flakes. I have never seen anything like this. It's got these like little ball feet appendages and it's just a series of balls with like a little forked tail. Reminds you of like a crawfish. I mean, you could shake your head, Ned rig this. This thing's pretty wild, but it's pretty stiff. You know, it's not like a super soft. The end's got some action. I don't know. I have never seen anything like this. That is super neat. I love the unusual. Okay, next up, I got a package from Pig Jigs. Now this one's really interesting because uh, we were talking, he said, I sent you some things that I think you'll like. Oh, where do I start? He sent me some plastics here. These are from Bros, Bates, and Frankenstein Lures. Uh, I don't know if he like works with them or what. These are not the pig jig stuff, but 
Uh, this is a really cool one. Got some uh, flake in there, almost like an Okeechobee craw, that blue on the bottom. I like that color around here, gonna do really well. Now that one, and then also from Frankenstein Lures, these look like some uh, some mini bandito bugs. I don't know if he got a mold that mimics that or if he makes his own, how that works out, but those look like bandito bugs, but the color is awesome. It's like a blackish purple uh, or blackish silver flake, maybe some purple in there with uh, like a chartreuse on the belly. I freaking love that color. Sent me a few of those. There you can see the sparkles in it better. It's got like purple, silver, kind of all throughout that one. But those are to go with some of his jigs. Now this is a 3 8 ounce football jig. Look at the colors on that. Green pumpkin, blue, orange, flake throughout. That baby looks sweet. Include his little pig jig sticker there. That I should do that as the, the cover. It looks like me pretty much, right? He did another football head and this one really jumped out at me. Look at the jig head on that. This black with like white crackle and chartreuse swirl throughout. That thing is awesome. He's got the black white chartreuse uh, mixed skirt with purple and black in there. Beautiful, and I forgot to tell you, all of those are hand tied with thread. Very, very cool, man. That one is neat. You don't see those colors together. That's cool, and he said that's to go with these trailers, so I believe that's gonna be a pretty cool combo. He also sent a couple different versions of the swim jigs. Again, the colors on these, brother, are absolutely awesome. That is about as bluegill as you get. Absolutely love that. And a 3 8 ounce workhorse swim jig. You can swim that, uh, pop that over stuff. You can see it's kind of got that, uh, you know, covered line tie. I like those. But the cream of the crop, the one I am the most excited for, look at this. Do you see that? Quarter ounce finesse jig. And he even put on there the Depot special because he made these colors for me. Brother, you absolutely killed this. I want to find this jig mold. So the head is like a, almost like a ball head mixed with something else almost like the poison tail i don't even know how to explain it but brother the colors in this he cut it in the you know the little finesse jig type that randall uh randizzle and i like black purple he's got the purple flash marabou in there dude that thing is freaking killer i will buy 15 of these uh just give me the website and where i do it but um pig jigs awesome stuff thank you brother for sending me those uh i can't wait to try these and get some more open water fish i've been out twice uh, and i've been skunked both times I went out, it was also 40 degrees. Okay, next up is one that made me tear up a bit. This is a letter from Mr. Randall Williams Sully uh, talking about what I've done, how I, he's followed me, how my videos have helped inspire him, and you'll see kind of some of this coming together. But these things truly humble me. I teared up when I read this. Uh, being a girl dad now, I've got two girls. I'm definitely more emotional than I used to be. Uh, you know, I used to, you know, box, kickbox and stuff after work. And now I'm like watching girl movies and, and hanging with them, letting them paint my nails. But um, this kind of stuff really moves me and touches me that people take, you know, time out of their day to send a two page letter um, and different gifts. So the first one he sent me, that's a three parter. The first is a fine bourbon maple syrup that his family got while they were on vacation in the Pocono Mountains. Now, hear me say in uh, one of my videos that I am a huge fan of maple syrup. Uh, and this is a bourbon barrel aged pure maple syrup, Maple, here far maple Hill Farms, is that I can get it online. Um, I cannot wait to crack this open. I've had this for a few months and my wife has been pissed at me because she wants to try it. We love maple syrup here. Luckily here in Iowa, we can usually get pretty decent um, real stuff. Not a fan of like the, the cheap, you know, store-bought stuff. It's all right. But dude, the maple syrup, the real stuff is so good. Okay, the second gift he says is a bit of an apology. I've included a bottle of Freddy's Root Beer for busting your chops over the pronunciation of the beverage. Root beer is what I say, I can't help it. Uh, root, root beer, root beer, I guess is how people say it. I've always said it and learned it as root beer. Must be an Iowa thing or just a dummy Debo thing. But they picked this up uh, at the uh, Buffalo Trace Distillery in Kentucky when they were on the Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Now this is non-alcoholic, caffeine-free. This is just your regular old root beer. Let's see, I did crack this before. Okay, here we go, look at that. Oh, it's fizzing up. This stuff is absolutely delicious. Uh, I would definitely recommend trying this. I don't know if any of you have had it, but oh my gosh, I'm a huge root beer lover. And mm. Okay, the last item he said is something personal to him. He's an Eagle Scout leader and counselor for the Fishing Merit Badge. He recently became a certified instructor and he said, watching my channel, I am more than qualified to get this. And he sent this to me, uh, you know, to help keep teaching. He said, you know, lately the, the Scouts have kind of fallen under a bad rap. But listen, I was friends with Scouts growing up awesome organization to get people outside, teach them what to do, you know, kind of live off the land, camp, hunt fish, um, all that stuff. He sent me my own badge. Now that is freaking cool. Uh, brother, I appreciate that so much. The letter, everything that you put into this, going over the qualifications and everything, super cool. Stuff like this really humbles me and dang, this root beer is tasty. 
Okay, next we've got a cool little bundle for Mr. Tom Mix. Tom is a good supporter. Uh, we chat back and forth on things. Tom was actually a recent winner on my channel, so he sent some stuff back to me to say thank you. Tom, thanks for writing the letter. I appreciate it, and brother, thank you for the support. Check out this. I completely forgot these were in here. These needed to be used already. These are all ice fishing jigs. He sent me some little ones, some small ones, stuff that would be perfect for like pike. Um, those needed to be used, but some little ice fishing jigs, which are always handy. And you can even use some of these for uh, for like trout fishing, little flu flus. I used to throw those for crappie and bluegill, but thank you for those, brother. Those will get used next year. Uh, now check out this. I don't know if you found a good sale on these, but these are the pivot heads. So like a swing head is something that I don't throw. I use this. Cracking this dude opening here, and he sent me a, a number of these different sizes, ever, all the way up to three eighths, uh, excuse me, all the way up to three quarter, the little one eighth stuff, a bunch of those. Thank you, brother. I don't know if you found a good sale or what, but but you just take this baby on here and this is a straight shank hook. You do it like this and I suppose you could even use live bait and stuff. It's kind of got the little barbs here that hold on to it. Run that up the shank, your hook like so, and then hook this in just like you'd be running a worm on a regular worm hook. Uh, and you've got this little rig here. So you tie it up and when this comes through the rocks, this whole back pivots. So this is running through the rocks. This is moving. Um, if you think of like the biffle bug with that, what is it, the hard head, uh, I think is what they use. Um, throw that out and you're just reeling it slow. It's like a, a crankbait essentially for the bottom, kicking off stuff, moving, but instead of being like a you know jig or whatever, this has free movement back here to do whatever it wants. So there's a ton of these. Again, I don't put in enough work with these. He said, I heard you want to work those more. He sent me a bunch of these, so I'm going to tie one of these up uh, and use it soon. Thank you for those, man. He also sent me this. Now, I think this was before I got my kayak rigged up. I can't remember, but I'm actually going to have two anchors in my kayak this year because with just one anchor, uh, if there's any wind, you spin in circles. It's, it's not the most fun. So this is another deal similar to what I have in front. It's a one-handed anchor holder. So you put the rope in there, you're able to pull it up, and then when you drop it and let it go, it holds that rope, similar to like what I have in there now. So I'll be able to run both anchors. Tom, thank you for sending that, brother. I appreciate you a bunch. All right, next up, my guy, Will Junk, and Will has been a long subscriber. He said, thanks for all you do. Picked up some favorite tackle from my place. He said, I hope you like the color choices. Check out these. Now, uh, Mr. Will knows me very well. This color very close to, and you'll notice this is themed, a uh, theme that my dad would approve, Tequila Sunrise. How about that in the Robo Worms? I personally don't have a lot of luck on the Robo Worms, but this being in Tequila Sunrise, uh, I personally didn't even know they made a Tequila Sunrise or if they still do. Uh, but check this out. You've got the dark kind of black on the bottom going up into your darker purple and then that reddish pink maroon color. Uh, yeah, those are spot on. I like that. Let's see if we can catch some on those. Picked up arguably a pack of one of my favorite worm colors or worms type, period, to throw. I have the most confidence in the power bait smell. It smells like ugh, dull, dead crawdads. Uh, but this was the exact worm that dad used to throw. Um, shout out to his buddy Joe. Joe, rest in peace, brother. Uh, I remember going out with them. Uh, his buddy Joe, when I'd be sleeping in the boat, he'd hold his lure over me and let the water drip on me and wake me up. Used to piss me off so much, but super nice guy. Um, he was a king of throwing jigs and like a Texas rig. Uh, so I learned from him and dad a ton. Uh, this was the color they threw. They used to go to the fisherman's swap meets and pick up those like big 50 bags or 100 bags of those worms. This is pretty cool. An old bag of Reaction Innovations, the Flirt. This is the smaller, what, 4.95 inch. Uh, this is in water bug, so a color somewhat close to Tequila Sunrise, almost like a Tequila Sunrise top. Um, with a green pumpkin or a brown belly. That's interesting. I have never seen these. I am a huge fan of Reaction Innovations. Never seen these anywhere. Will, that is cool. Awesome find. Sticking with the Reaction Innovations, y'all, I know, Lil, I love the 4.2 inch Sweet Beaver. This is in Violator. Um, I actually don't have any of this color. And again, kind of your spinoff of Tequila Sunrise, this brownish kind of cinnamon color with a purple and is that red flake? Red flake mixed into it? You can see really on the bottom there all the red flake. That's a neat color. I don't have this color. Uh, kind of a see-through translucent with those brown. That's kind of neat. Ah, one that I do have and have thrown. This is the rodent in the new Tequila Sunrise Orange Flake. I am so glad Strike King brought this back in. Oh, the coffee scent. You might, I might have the most uh, confidence in the power bait smell, but the coffee uh, smell of these is the best. I could just sit and huff a bag. But anyway, these, the rodent, uh, kind of your alternative to the sweet beaver, you know, the beaver style baits, kind of got these club legs. I don't use these as much as I should. I have had luck on them. You can see there the purple and pink. Um, but the cut tail worm, I've had a lot of success with. And actually just this last year, um, out on the boat with my buddy, Matt, throwing the cut tail worm in that tequila sunrise color, we caught quite a few. So love those. Okay. Last up, not least another reaction innovations, the Trixie shark. Now this is one I've not thrown. It's in the pearl blue shad. Um, my buddy, little Tommy told me to get some of these and try them out. It's a top water lure. So remember that cut tail worm I was talking about? 
that's essentially what the cut tail worm tail looks like. Now they've put two of these on for kind of finesse, top water, uh, they call it the Trixie Shark, so I guess bait fish or frog look as you're running this. Imitate shad, imitate a frog. Um, interesting, I've been meaning to try it and I actually might try one of these on like one of those uh, buzz baits, you know, instead of using like a zoom horny toad or something. I like it. Thank you, Will. Okay, next up I got a box from Wesley. Is it Quitch? I hope you that's how you say your last name. He said, a token of appreciation for all you do. Thanks for helping me, uh, helping him catch fish. He said, three of these are for you, three are for Randizzle. He squir said, square bills are some of my favorite. These are from uh, Academy. We don't have an Academy around here. The H2O Express line of lures. People talk about them a lot. Uh, we don't have any around here. That's the Red Croc color. Says these run three to six feet. Should be perfect for a lot of the bank fishing we do around here. And uh, I think that color will work well this spring. Couple of those. A couple of the bluegill and the two to five feet. Now check those babies out. Those actually look sweet. I really like the, uh, you know, the lifelike paint on those. It's got the orange. Uh, one for me, one for Randizzle Brother. Thanks for thinking of both of us. And uh, a color that always does well around here. <laughs> Sexy melon shad. I thought it was like Tennessee shad, but look at that brown top. It's got the yellow line, the good shad dot. Dude, those look awesome. And thanks for thinking of Randy. Uh, you know, Randy kind of flies under the radar, but somebody really summed that up a while back that uh, it's like when you're growing up and you watch the show and you think I'm the hero of the show, but actually as you get older, you realize Randy is really the hero of the show and he keeps everything together. So Randy will appreciate you. Love you, brother. Next. Uh, Wesley, thank you for that. I've got, who's this from? Mr. Caden Curtin, owner of Curtin Jigs. He said, thank you for what you do. I started this jig making business to help me through school. He said he decided to start selling his hand tied jigs uh, after he found my YouTube channel about three years ago. He said, there's no better way than to make money on a hobby that you love. And brother, I completely agree. So again, he is hand tying all these with thread. I haven't ha tried hand tying any of my jigs with thread. I'm a wire guy. I don't know that it matters one way or another as long as they stay together, but I don't know what jig head this is, but I really like the shape of it, like a mix between a like a brush jig and a ball jig. They had some of those in like some little 5 sixteenths. I know I got the quarter there from pig jigs. Both of these look awesome. Guys, you're doing great. And this is like a, like a blue craw, the green pumpkin with the blue in it. Great for around here. Uh, this is kind of his take on bluegill. Watermelon with some of that white and then the orange belly. Oh, very neat looking little swim jig. You can see it's kind of got that iridescent brown on top, the white belly, perfect. To mimic shad looks like a little quarter ounce and then some cool football jigs you got like your dirty texas brown black green craw you've got watermelon red flake of course tried and true black and blue and then the green pumpkin kind of a chartreuse lime uh, kind of your summer craw type brother thank you these look sweet okay a couple packages here i had to switch uh camera batteries but bill friggle sent me a calendar now these are he's a photographer uh took all these pictures dude how cool is this he's got the uh, the pileated woodpecker Couple owls. Beach, I could go for some of that weather. Monarch butterfly, we'll start seeing those soon here in Iowa. Northern cardinal, we got those around here. Hummingbird moth, my parents actually have a bunch of these that live down at their house. Oh, the bald eagle, national bird, go America. We actually have a bunch of those around here. We get to see them, lucky enough to see those. Oh, the ruby-throated hummingbird. My grandpa's got a bunch of feeders and a ton of those. Those dudes are super tame down there. The old wood duck, again, the bald eagle, an osprey. And a super cool close-up of a white-tailed deer. Dude, awesome photography. Thank you so much for seeing this. I can always use a calendar. That's going to go up next to my uh, my desk. Awesome, awesome work, dude. Thank you. Okay, I got some awesome little ice fishing jigs from Trippy Stick Jig. Now, he sent me some of these. Now, you could use these for crappie, bluegill. He's thought of me specifically for ice fishing. Uh, now, I didn't get these out. Ice fishing ended uh, way sooner than I thought. And open water fishing has started way later than I thought. But... How awesome are these things? Hand ties, he hand ties all these. So it's a mix of like fur and then flashaboo, some rubber back there. I used to use some similar ones of these, old, 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 and they were all wrapped in like this glittery, I don't know what you call it, but absolute crappie killers. I think that's the same color. Whatever those little glitter things were, they looked just like this kind of puffy and then had the glitter tail on it. This one's even got some feather work on it. Beautiful, beautiful hand, uh, hand tied, hand done, dipped. He's making all the jigs and everything. And I checked the hooks. The hooks on these are a razor sharp. Brother, thank you so much. Sorry I didn't get to get these out ice fishing, but maybe we'll do a multi-species day. And I actually bet these would work really well uh, late this fall for some trout because I like fishing for trout in the fall when it gets cold. Those are cool. Okay, last two packages. Uh, these guys need no introduction. If you haven't followed the guys over at the Burley Fishing Bunch, uh, Burley Fishing, go check them out. Paul and Jeff, a couple awesome guys. They sent me a few of their Ned Rig Nerds uh, stickers. I told them I needed some of these. They did tell me I have to save one for Randizzle. No problem. Randizzle uh, and his famous sticker chart behind him when we do our lives. People love seeing that. You will definitely see one of those up there. I guarantee it. And 
the last one from another Iowa guy, Chris Russ. Chris, I can't believe it has taken me this long to do this, but he sent me a special care package from Omnia. Chris is a good supporter, like I said, here in Iowa. Hopefully, Randy and I will get to meet him and fish with him this year, but he has sent me some some of the poop lures, the cover scat. Um, now, I have to open these. This is why I saved it. You have to, like, I hate these where you got to tear open the packaging because I feel like I'm cheating if I, I tear it open before I do an unboxing, but the cover scat, uh, it literally looks like poop, scat, actual turd lure now you have the trd from uh from z-man this actually is a, a turd i don't i don't know what to say about it it looks unusual like a few different things you can probably think of but they work i know matt lee was just talking about one of these they've designed them so they fall straight down so almost like a mix between the trd and a stick bait a lot of talk about them they kind of got some ridges here uh to help move water I don't know, interesting, weird looking bait. Um, they've got a channel on the bottom so you can uh, rig you know, your hook slot in there, EWG style hook. I've heard from a lot of people they really, really work. They're hard to get. Uh, I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to have a crappy challenge. <laughs> Maybe the day will turn out poopy. Where is this conversation going? I don't, I don't even know what to say, but this is the larger style in, no clue what the uh, color is, it's in Japanese, but this almost reminds me of like the tramp stamp, like a green pumpkin, dark with like green and blue glitter in it. Uh, that color does really well around here. Dirty water. I feel so wrong for even holding these up. <laughs> um, the Depths Cover Scat. I'm telling you, they're hard to find. People are swearing by them. What do you all think? Comment below. Now, like I said, I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, this is the last one. Comment below and let me know what you think. What are the coolest lures of this bunch? I got some little cool finesse jigs. I guarantee Randall's going to try to get his hands on that. I've got jigs, plastics, Empire, Tail Chaser. A freaking calendar and uh you know the the poop lures from chris oh chris hold on i'm sorry i thought we were at the end here he also sent me golly a couple half ounce seth fighter jigs these are the stealth jigs half ounce um i really like that black light color black and purple you couldn't see that until i flipped this around black and purple chris knows i like the black and purple and then like a natural green pumpkin brown never thrown these never heard of those um i don't really throw the outcast stuff too much and uh he said these are split between me and randy we each get one of each uh he also sent some free rig weights so randy had a lot of weight uh, a lot of weight a lot of luck with the free rigs last year uh, so these weights will come in handy see it's got an open hole there you put that on your line and then you put your hook down here so when you throw it in the weight slides down first and the lure comes after it now you think why not just use an unpegged texas rig right watching the underwater footage of these there is definitely a difference in fall now is it enough of a difference to you know to entice fish i don't know but it definitely does look different. It's got more of a, a longer fall for the plastic back here with the Texas rig. Kind of drops down and it follows it quicker. So I don't know, uh, but comment below and let me know what your favorite out of all these is. Again, I'll be doing a giveaway, throwing in a couple jigs, some soft plastics, of course, uh, a Ned rig, a nerd sticker from uh, the guys over at the Braille Bunch. Comment below and let me know what was your favorite. I'll pick somebody here in a couple weeks. That's all you have to do is comment, but everybody who sent stuff in, thank you so much. Mr. Randall Williams Sully, the, uh, the, the root beer is absolutely delicious. The jigs from everybody, thank you so much for taking time to think of me and giving back. Uh, I appreciate it. So thank you all for watching. I got to edit. So uh, until next time. Mm -hmm.